I'll show you today what's inside my videography small camera bag. Let's get to it in a few seconds. All right, so I have a small video gig, sometimes a second shoot for weddings, sometimes I do some other jobs that requiring a minimal amount of cameras, lenses. So I'll show you what I bring to the set in my small bag. There it is, my well-trusted Lover Pro 400 AW backpack designed for photographers and videographers to carry their camera gear. So the first thing here on the side, there's a pocket and I have a very important tool. It's a viewfinder. There's a several different ones. There are more expensive, there are cheaper ones. I don't really think it has to be super expensive. So I just buy this, I put this on my neck and it's really helping me when I'm shooting with manual lenses and I'm behind the camera. I wanna make sure I'm in focus. I'll just look into that and uh, I'll just use this one to make sure I'm in focus. Okay, that's the first thing, let's put it away. Next thing will be a LED light. It's like on camera LED light. I have a little attachment to put it on the camera and I'll just mount this when I don't have enough light that can be really useful for reception shots or for, you know, to get this extra stops. Yeah, and then I put the clear diffuser. I think I showed you uh, this in the previous video regarding the, my lighting gear. So I'll just keep this one with me for the, just in case, with a small battery that lasts for about two hours. And okay, let's put this aside. Next thing will be an audio recorder, Zoom H1. I had a review on that one previously too. So with one rechargeable and a loop battery inside and with a lapel mic, just in case if I need to love mic someone, take an interview or if I wanted to plug this thing into the DJ's board or any sound board, I bring with me two different cords. One, 3.5 to RCA. And the second option will be a 3.5 to the quarter inch. So normally all the DJ's, they have either this plug or the other one. So we set for that. Carry with me extra rechargeable, fully charged and the low batteries, four of them for the recorder or for other, you know, things that I might need. And I will carry with me my card holder. It's a waterproof card holder. You open up and you have all the cards in there. It's very convenient. So usually the cards that I record on and they're full, I will just flip them the other way. And that way I will know this card is full and I will use the other one that has the, that sitting there face up. So it's really cool little case can fit maybe about 10 SD cards. All right, another one, it's a couple of batteries, extra Canon batteries I carry with me just in case. Normally have a grip for the camera so it would be already two batteries inside. So now we'll grab with me another two. Let's put this away. And I have also, oh, actually I have four batteries. 
because it you never know how long the event will be so yeah four canon l p6 batteries just carrying with me okay and i have a fluff to uh, clean the lenses if something happens just in case you never know you might touch it accidentally with your fingers you know you don't want to be dirty so to clean your lens that's a side pocket inside on the other end you just open this thing and it opens up like that so i have here a microphone on camera mic it's not made by uh rod video rod pro or whatever you, they call it that's a uh another brand called Tascar and I had a good results with this one it costs only 35 to 40 dollars uh, on Amazon so it's very easy to replace it also has like a um, nice mount that you can mount on top of the camera and uh, plug in right in your microphone jack make sure you put the analog battery inside this thing too and make sure you have that on plus 10 dB and um, low cut on it lights in green when you turn it on so make sure it's, it's on because a few times i gave it to some other people to use and they forgot to turn it on and then they end up not recording any audio so that 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 can be a really big problem on a post-production so yeah i like this little microphone it's really on the budget and it's really um delivering a decent sound i wouldn't say a great sound but it delivers a decent sound for the money so let's put this away okay next thing it's a camera usually bring my well-trusted 5d mark iii where's me and uh, the grip attached with the two batteries inside already i make sure the card that's already inside the camera and it is one CF card and one SD card, and I put it on auto switch. That means if one card gets full, it will automatically switch to the other one. So I have 64 gigabytes of memory on CF card and another 64 gigabytes memory on SD card. That way I will have 128 easily right there, more than I ever need. And I, I will make sure all the cards are formatted before I go. All the settings are the way I want it to be or the way the person who I'm shooting with want it to be. Because on some uh, scenarios, the people would want it to shoot 24 frames per second. Some of them would want it to shoot 30 frames per second and so on and so on. So follow that when you get hired as a second shooter. It's very important. The lenses I bring are simple my favorite lens it's a Tamron 24 to 70 was a stabilizer uh, vibration compensation and autofocus lens that retails around 750 to 900 dollars depends where you buy it on Amazon I think it, that's what it is around 800 dollars and it has a filter on it I'll do a separate review about this one but I really like it this is a full frame lens and this lens, it just like was, you know, created for full frame cameras like 5D Mark III and uh, similar cameras to that. If you have like a 6D, 5D Mark II and uh, cameras of that sort that will fit perfectly and it would deliver a really cre crispy clear image and uh, very good uh, quality video. So the second lens I'll bring it's a 50 millimeter Rockinon f1.4 very fast lens very good for low light situations and very crispy clear image was blown background you can get out of this one so that's a really good one right 50 millimeter would be one of my favorite ones next lens would be 85 millimeter Rockinon f 1.4 i mean sorry f t 1.5 this one is made specifically for cinematography and this one is a cine lens so you can use it uh, in the low light situations and to get a really nice out of focus background 
I love this lens and it works well with the full frame bodies as well as the crop sensor cameras. So check that out, rocking on 85 millimeter. Since I've been shooting lots of videos lately on my stabilizer with Panasonic GH4, I'll put in the back Panasonic GH4 with a native lens 12 to 35 millimeter, which is equivalent of 24 to 70 on a full frame. And this one, I would use for stabilizer shots. I can fit easily that stabilizer into my backpack, but I prefer to carry in a separate case, which is just more convenient for me and it's safer in there. And you know, and I showed you the video with the stabilizer. Watch, check out the separate video about the stabilizer. So this case I'll just carry. It's really cool. It's all inside, assembles in minutes and it's really good. All right, and in case I want to throw one of these manual lenses on my GH4, I have an adapter, just a dummy adapter, not a Metabones, not speed booster, just made out of metal adapter uh, from EF mount to a quarter for thirds mount. Works great for me for certain shots. Okay, that was it. That's what I would carry inside my backpack and depends on the set. I will bring with me either a tripod, small tripod. I can attach here, right on top of this bag, you know, and you know, it, it will sit there or I can just carry in my hand. You know, it's very compact, very easy to use video tripod. I'll do a separate review about this one because I really like it. And um, that would be it. I don't use monopod as much as I used to, simply because I use the stabilizer now. Okay, these are the stuff that inside my camera bag. Let me know what's inside your camera video bag. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know if the video was helpful in the comments and uh, I will see you next time.